Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for coming back or tuning in for the first time, maybe, if that's the case. Uh, I'm gonna talk about photo lemur uh, today in, in this video, and that's because I talked about it about two weeks ago. I did a review of photo lemur version 2.2, which is known as Spectre. And at the time, there was a bonus offer happening because they were coming out with version 2.3, which is known as Phoenix. Well, now 2.3 is out. I'm gonna do a quick review of it. I also wanna do a comparison because somebody asked me a question that I was thinking of myself, and that is, Photo Lemur, if you're not aware, uh, is a automatic photo enhancer. It's not an editor. You don't get to adjust sliders other than the opacity. It allows, uh, it doesn't allow you, it does for you a, a photo edit itself. It just enhances a photo and says here. Uh, there's no adjustments you can make. There's no sliders and all that stuff. It just does it all automatically. Um, the question was, it does it all automatically based on artificial intelligence. And so it looks at things like colors uh, and the skies and the exposure compensation, uh, noise, that sort of stuff, and it automatically enhances your photo. Well, knowing that it's uh, artificial intelligence, somebody asked me, hey, how is that different than the Accent AI filter that's in Luminar? And hey, guess what? If you weren't aware, Skyloom that makes Luminar bought the photo lemur company, and they're making an artificial intelligence lab. And there's another product that has artificial intelligence in it that I've been experimenting with called Topaz Studio. It has a couple of different filters, and I'll get to that in a future video. Um, but this whole AI thing is going to take on a life of its own. You're hearing about it in a lot of places um, around technology, not just photography, but in high tech, like information technology, computers, and all that. Uh, so it's interesting to me. Now, being a guy who loves to edit photos, the last thing I want is some software to say, here's what your photo is supposed to look like. That's not me, and I can't imagine that's ever going to be me. However, as I said in my previous photo lemur review, uh, which I'll put a link here, uh, let's see here, I think, whatever corner. Um, I'll put a link up there for you to check it out if you'd like to. But um, in that review, um, you know, I, I think the, the product does a really good job. And as I mentioned, I will use it on some photos and I do use it on some photos. I experiment with, uh, experiment with it a lot. And sometimes I say, well, damn, that looks pretty good. That's about what I would do and I'm done. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, version 2.3 Phoenix has a few few new things. Number one, it has a new image processing engine underneath. And so it's supposed to be more accurate to represent really what your eye saw. And so I'm gonna put that to the test uh, here in a minute. And in some cases it works really well. And another, in, in particular, low light, not so well. Um, and I'll show you that. Um, secondly, it has automatic lens correction built in, which I think is cool. It helps you uh, basically straighten things out, which is nice, and I'll show you that. Uh, it has something called JPEG Fix. Uh, a lot of times in JPEGs, you'll get artifacts, uh, and it'll automatically correct those to the extent that it can, and I think it does a good job. Um, and there's a wealth of export options uh, that you didn't have before. You used to just could export, and you were kind of done. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna start with this photo. This is from Cannon Beach in Oregon, and as you can see, the befores on the left, a uh, little bit underexposed in terms of the uh, the log here, and you know, it's kind of dark on that rock. In the original, it's brightened that up pretty nicely. I think it looks really good. Let's compare that to Luminar, all right? Let's do that. Here it is, Luminar, with Accent AI applied at 100. Let me get the other photo, and uh, let's see, I need to minimize that. Whoops, no I didn't, hang on. Don't go anywhere, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, here we go, okay. so. Here's what I'll do, I'll just uh, shrink that. Can I shrink that? Yes, I can shrink that, okay. So, and I'll, uh, hold on. Sorry, I should've figured this out before I uh, got on the uh, online with you. Bear with me, here we go. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to look at that compared to Luminar. Now, if you look at Luminar, to me Luminar's uh, with the AI filters a bit brighter than that. I think they both look really good. I wouldn't look at one and say, oh, one's better than the other necessarily, unless you just like a brighter or darker photo, but they did about the same thing. If you look at the log and the rock, log and rock, it's a little bit brighter in the Luminar photo, and that's probably my choice in this case, but I think uh, Photolemur did a fine job. So that's photo number one. Photo number two is this one, which is from Vancouver, and this was a sunset. Now I've got a dust spot on my lens. I can't take that out in 
uh, photolemur. So that's one of the challenges is you, you can't uh, you can't crop and you can't do any erase. It's it's all automatic. So there's nothing that you can do other than click this button and change boost, which is basically opacity. I'm just going to leave that at a hundred because I'm comparing it to the Accent AI filter, which is at a hundred. So again, in this photo, if you look at it, you can tell by the blues that uh, again the Luminar Accent AI filter makes it a bit brighter. There's that. There's that. I think they both look really good, to be honest. Um, I don't really see any perspective correction here, and so I think uh, nothing happened in that case, but I think uh, the blue actually looks better in Photolemur than it does with Accent AI at 100. Now, of course, you know, you can take this down, but I'm trying to do both at 100 just for comparison purposes. So the third one is this sunset from Carmel, California. And you can see before in Photolemur, a little bit too bright. Uh, this was a little bit of a long exposure, not long, but like a, you know, a couple of seconds or something. And I think the, uh, the after looks really good. The blues a little bit darker in Photolemur uh, as opposed to Luminar. Now, if you look at that, yeah, a little bit darker. You can see over here, it's a bit more contrast um, in the, the distant um, land mass there where the sort of the land juts out. Um, than it is in the Luminar edit, you can kind of tell, and thus it's a little bit darker. There's a little bit more contrast. Um, again, you can adjust the AI filter. I'm not going to in Luminar, but I think they both look really good. The truth is, I would edit the photo further, but that's me. Um, but I wanted to compare them one more time. There's Luminar, and there's um, Photolemur. So pretty interesting um, so far. I'm gonna get into this one now. This is a photo, a long exposure that I shot with a wide angle lens and I had a filter on. And as you can see, um, there's actually some vignetting from the filter. Um, if I'm not careful, and I wasn't, um, I get a little bit of vignetting. So the way to correct that, of course, is to crop it in Luminar. However, over here in Photolemur, there's no crop. So the difference is, of course, let's look at the photo. I think the Photolemur shot actually looks really good. Um, and if you take a look at it, they actually got rid of some of the stuff in the corner, that vignette. If you can take a look at that upper right corner, right? That's pretty cool. And I think the photo looks great. If you look at a comparison, again, a bit brighter in Luminar, right? And so uh, let's go to Luminar. This one would require a crop. I also see a spot there that's quite obvious. Here's a little spot. And there's a couple of sunspots there, there, which I don't really mind. I think those are kind of cool. I see a few spots. I think I was getting splashed a little bit because I was shooting sunset in San Diego or La Jolla. Um, anyway, one more time. Um, I actually think the photo lemur uh, result looks a little bit better. And truthfully, uh, it's essentially gotten rid of the vignetting for me. That's tip top. And this is uh, that's a raw file, which, by the way, uh, works quite fine in uh, photo lemur. So that's a raw file. Um, I think I'd go with photo lemur on this one. So. I'm not actually keeping score here, but you know, some of them look better in Photolemur and some of them look better in Luminar. Of course, with Luminar, there's a million other things you can do because you have 50 filters and layers and masking and all that fun that I talk about in my other videos. So I'm not trying to compare the two products. I'm comparing one filter in Luminar to an entire product by Photolemur. So here's a shot from Italy, just some boats uh, uh, on Lake Como. Let me go get this same photo here. And if you look at it, uh, the blues are a bit more saturated, a little bit darker. Uh, the water's a little bit darker as well, but the whites are crisp. Um, I actually think the photo lemur shot looks better, to be honest, than Accent AI. And as I scroll back and forth, you can see I did some perspective. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't do anything. Um, I dumped the photo in photo lemur. Photo lemur did some. Um, some perspective correction or lens distortion correction is a better way of putting it. So you can see that I'm going back and forth and possibly driving you nuts with that. Sorry. Um, it's just kind of interesting to see how that has automatically applied that. I think it looks great. I actually think the photo lemur result looks better. Um, and then the last one, this is the tricky one. This is a night shot. I shot this with a tiny little point and shoot camera. Um, that I have, it's a little Panasonic and I, I do it. Sometimes I just carry that around because it fits in my pocket. Uh, if, if it's at night, it'll shoot at like one point, f1.7. So wide open, tiny sensor, and I gotta jack up the ISO. And you know what I get is I get noisy skies. So 
a pretty easy fix in Luminar or Aurora and things like that. With Accent AI, let me turn it off. Um, it actually looked better before I added Accent AI because Accent AI is gonna say, well, the photo's dark, I need to brighten it. Well, let me get over here to um, the same photo in Photolemur. And as you can see there, it did the same thing. So it created more noise because it tried to brighten the darker sky. The thing I like about Photolemur is if you look at the building, look at that line there, so much better. And that little concrete pillar, right? It's basically straightened all that stuff. Look at how curved that drain pipe was on the building. Perfectly straight, well, mostly straight. Straighter, how about that? Way straighter. Um, so I like that perspective correction. It's automatic, it's awesome. Sorry, lens distortion correction. I keep, um, it's a lens correction, but I keep calling it um, um, perspective. It's not perspective as much as it is um, distortion. So now you can do that with the raw develop or develop filter in Luminar, but it requires more steps. You gotta get in there and you gotta mess with it. It's automatic in Photolemur, and that's what I like about it. It's really cool. So in this photo, I don't really like what it did with the light, especially in the sky, but I don't like it in Luminar either. I wouldn't use Accent AI in this photo in Luminar, um, but I think it did a fine job here except for the sky. Um, again, because Luminar Accent AI, as you look, it ends up being brighter than it does in Photolemur. I don't think it looks as good. It, it loses some of the contrast and some of the shadow. And for a night shot, I expect some contrast and shadow. And I expect a kind of a darker sky. So I got to give the nod to, um, to Photolemur on that one. So again, I'm not really counting. It's not a contest because Luminar is fully featured, amazing photo editor. I think it's the greatest thing in the world. So I'm not trying to say apples to apples. I'm comparing one filter to an entire product, as I said. So having done all that, that gives you an idea of what Photolemur can do, which honestly does a really good job. And especially if you're in a decent light and low light, probably not so much, but with the perspective correction, um, some of the color enhancement, skies and water in decent light look really good in Photolemur. And with version 2.3 now, you've got more export options. You've got all the same things here, which by the way, I talked about it in the last video, you can pop over to Snap Heal to do some additional enhancements if you want to, uh, but you can load directly to whatever site you choose. But if you click on Disk, you get this sort of export uh, option, but if you click Advanced Settings, you have all these export options that you didn't have before in Photolemur 2.2. So in 2.3, Phoenix, you have all this stuff. So you can save, uh, you know, choose your location. You can change all the naming, right? Based on these different things that I'm clicking. Um, you can choose a file format, PNG, TIFF. Uh, you can make it a PDF. You can change quality, right? And you can even pick your color profile. So if I start with a raw file, I could save it as a TIFF um, and then say, I really want that in Pro Photo, which is what I save my TIFFs in. Um, no compression and maybe I want 16 bit depth. Really cool. So Photolemur is stepping it up a little bit in terms of helping you, especially if you're starting with a raw file. Um, if you're starting with a JPEG, I, I'm assuming, uh, I don't know a whole lot about file formats, but I assume if you start in a JPEG, you probably keep it in a JPEG um, because you're not gonna increase quality going to a TIFF, for example, but with a, if you start with a raw file, you could save it as a TIFF and, and not lose things. Um, and then you got resize options, right? You can go long edge and choose your pixels. You know, let's say I want to go 1200 because I want it to be kind of small and put it on Facebook or something. Or I can just leave it as original. Anyway, you can save your settings, hit continue, and export that thing to the location of choice. And you're all set, my friends. And that's how it works. That's a quick comparison of Photo Lemur Phoenix version 2.3 uh, compared to the Luminar Accent AI filter. There's a lot of similarities and yet some differences, even though they're same company and they're both called AI, they do differ. So I hope that helps. I hope it answers some questions. If you have any questions, hit me up down there. Hit me uh, with a like if you would. Share this if you think somebody would be interested in it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great night or day and adios.